What's up? It's been a while. I'm realizing that it's been a long time since you guys have seen me. And you're probably wondering where I've been. Honestly, I'm wondering that myself. It's been well over a year since my last video uploaded. And I just, I just haven't posted. I don't know why. Uh, but today we are finally back. And it feels really good to be back. As you can see behind me, we have a red car. This car you guys don't know. You've never seen it. You've seen a black one if you've been following this channel for a long time. That one has been sold. It's sad to say, but the black car's gone. That was a good Cobra. It was tons of fun, but it was time to move on. This car is my 2004. And yeah, there really isn't much to say about it. It's fully built. Suspension wise, front to rear, everything is aftermarket. Um, but I guess what we're gonna do now is since the channel has started, it's going to start now, to move on from gaming, is to focus more on car stuff. And that is going to be the main focus of it. Since I've had so much done to the car, I'm gonna start doing reviews on it and all the parts that I have done to it. And today, I guess, it's just we're gonna have a walk around and start from the beginning. Now, like I said, if you have been following me for a long time, you would recognize that that spot right there is where I filmed the Cobra. Uh, we are in a different location now because the sun is setting and the lighting is absolutely terrible. Um, I guess, I don't know. Oh, that sun is bright. Where to begin? I guess we're gonna start from the front and in later videos, we're gonna go through every single part that's on this car in depth and have me review it because there's a lot of parts on here that I really love and some that I love not so much. So we're gonna start here. You look right there. Malcolm Grill Elite Kit, Amazon. Axle smoked headlights, American Muscle. Oh crap, now I don't remember. Magic Drift Aerodynamics, front lip, eBay. Connecting rods, American Racing VN870 wheels, the Derek Barron production special splitter on the side, followed it up through the back here, dark smoked headlights in the rear, ah, it's a dark smoked headlight, dark smoked taillights in the rear, Magnaflow dual exhaust, GT rear bumper, spacer in the back, spacer in the front, short antenna. Look in there, roll bar in there. Um, there are SR Performance coil overs on the car. That is a very controversial, controversial suspension setup I have there. I have a shaved V6 hood. I have, oh crap, now I'm just forgetting everything I've done. New roof, all this stuff. I've been building this car for the past five years. Bumper inserts, GT rear bumper, like I said. There's a story behind that. I will get to that in a minute. Uh, on the inside, I guess I can open it up. Aftermarket stereo. Just keeping it really clean in here. Other than that, nothing much is done in there. And we'll get to the engine setup next. There's not a lot done to that either. Coming around to the engine bay. Maybe I can do this one-handed. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's a V6. Isn't that nice? Uh, this car, original V6 car, I've blown one motor, and this is the second, with way less miles than the original. SR intake that didn't come with clamps to connect it. That's always fun. Yep, that's about it with the engine. Time to move on from that. Now, if we go around to the trunk setup, if you guys were able to catch any of that in the intro. Two tens that don't fit very well, a really crappy amp, and a wood base with no spare tire because it won't mount it. Isn't that great? Blocked out spoiler, I guess that's a thing. And yeah, that's pretty much it on the outside. A lot of it is underneath that we'll go into depth more of in future videos when it's time to come for the reviews. Now this car was my first car. I've had it for five years, like I said, and because of this, it's really hard 
for me to not sell this one. It's, there's a lot of sentimental value to it. That's why the Cobra left before the V6 did. And sometimes I regret that because the Sting is really slow. It has never, ever, ever been reliable to me. But that's the fun of it, I guess. We want car people if we don't put up with that kind of crap. Uh, the reason why it has a GT rear bumper is because I got rear-ended in the high school parking lot. That was great, about four years ago. Um, right here, barely see that. There's a chip right there from getting backed into by a big truck with a trailer hitch. There's just a lot of problems with it. I guess I didn't show you the bumper here. But it's also from the trailer hitch. It completely destroyed the headlight too. And the car's filthy now that I'm looking at it. But I guess really that's it for now. Um, I'll have a lot more videos coming on this. Like I said, we're gonna review every single part. There's a lot of lighting modifications that I have done to it that you'll see in future videos. And hopefully we'll be able to keep building it for you guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Again, I'm really sorry that I've been gone for so long. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment what you'd like to see more of. Follow my social media at camco2313, just like the YouTube channel. I have an Instagram set up just for this YouTube page. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.